Hi Pisces, this is your monthly October tarot reading. I do multiple spreads per reading. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this month. We've got the Sun, we have the Knight of Wands, we have the Ace of Wands, then we have the Queen of Cups and uh, we have the Devil on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or you could be dealing with a Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio or another Pisces, or you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Yeah, lots of passion, lots of temptation, lots of lust. That's what I see here. Um, the Queen of Cups in this case uh, is you. Pisces, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And uh, the Devil on the bottom of the deck, this is either a Capricorn you're dealing with, but this is a lot of temptation, this is a lot of lust. I don't think this is a toxic relationship, not yet. Hopefully it never will be a toxic relationship, but the devil is just something, you know, you feel like you have this unnatural pull towards. And like I said, there is a lot, a lot of uh, action going on behind closed doors, if you know what I mean. Uh, so yeah, we've got the Knight of Wands. This is either a fire sign, there is the or Sagittarius you're dealing with, or this is uh, somebody who's got lots of fire, lots of passion for you. And we've got the Ace of Wands. This is all about a brand new passionate beginning. The Ace of Wands is the best card for passion. And we've got the Sun. The Sun, the first card on the left. This is the happiest card in the deck. Perhaps, th perhaps this is what you wanted or needed for a long time in your life and it's just gonna make you very very happy. If that, if you're at, your, if you're at the point of your life where you just want to have fun, then have fun. You know, as long as everybody is safe and as long as it's all consensual right all right so that's what we have for you it's going to be a very fun and dynamic month pisces if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread the link is in the description below in the extended i'll do two or three more spreads depending on how the situation unfolds well we'll take a look at what to expect between you and this new person is it just lust or is there anything else besides that and we'll get you an advice. I do extensions for new love only because that's what people are interested in the most. Pisces, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We've got the Empress, we have the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Cups and we have the Four of Swords. So this is going to be um, only for a specific group of you, Pisces. Um, and uh, specifically for those who are waiting to give birth right the Empress in this case is all about being uh, expecting a baby and then the seven of Pentacles is the waiting card the nine of cups is a wish come true card and the four of swords is actually the outcome I specifically asked what the outcome is going to be and the four of swords came out so this is uh, you going into labor it could be your uh, significant other who is going into labor this month or at least you're getting ready to uh, go into labor. That, I can't really think of any other way <laughs> to interpret this spread, Pisces. So uh, if you are about to give birth to a baby or babies, then I'm happy for you and um, hopefully it goes well. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Pisces, this month. We have the Wheel of Fortune, we have Death, then we have the Five of Cups clarified by the Ace of Swords, we have the Four of Swords, clarified by uh, the lovers and we have the king of wands on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Gemini or a fire sign Aries Leo or Sagittarius most likely you are dealing with this king of wands a fire sign Aries Leo or Sagittarius male or female absolutely doesn't matter and uh, this person has been re really really regretting the past with the five of cups right there and the death card so the death card is most likely representing what ended in the past, the death of your, of your relationship. And we have the Wheel of Fortune here. So this is them wanting to start a new cycle with you, right? And uh, the Five of Cups right there is clarified by the Ace of Swords. So they want to uh, come out of that energy where they uh, just sit at home and, and look at old pictures uh, of the two of you having fun together, right? And uh, they want to come out of that with the Ace of Swords. They want to have a brand new beginning with you. Perhaps uh, some kind of truth will come out with the Ace of Swords. They'll tell you why things went 
down the way they did and why they couldn't explain something to you. Something along those lines with the Ace of Swords, right? And we have the Four of Swords clarified by the lovers. This is actually the outcome. I specifically asked what the outcome is going to be and those two cards came out. So the Four of Swords is you taking a break and uh, you are making the choice with the lovers. I don't know how long this is going to take you to uh, make a final decision, but yeah, whenever I see the Four of Swords, that usually means somebody needs a break. And by break, I don't mean a couple of minutes. I mean maybe a, perhaps a day or a couple of days. Who knows? The Lovers is a good card to have. That means that there is still love there. You'll have to decide between your head and your heart. This is a head over heart decision or one of those. So yeah, if this person did not screw up really badly, then perhaps it's worth your time to revisit this situation. But as I always say, if somebody really screwed you over in the past, then chances are they'll screw you over again. Alright, so you'll need to think about it either way and uh, let them know. Let's talk about your work, your business and finances, Pisces, this month. We have the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Three of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Swords and we have the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So most cards here, three out of four are Pentacles cards. So <laughs> how convenient, isn't it? When we talk about work, business and finances, then uh, most cards are about work, business and finances. So the Eight of Pentacles is a card of work. <laughs> then uh, we have the Three of Pentacles here. Three of Pentacles is all about building something from the ground up, building a solid foundation, working in a team environment or collaborating with other people on projects or anything like that. Then we have the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. It could be an offer to start a new job, it could be a promotion at your existing job, it could be um, a bonus, it could be something that you'll be able to touch with your hand, some kind of an improvement, right? And then we have the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is all about a brand new beginning or <clears throat> if you're stepping up, uh, if you're being promoted, then that will be a new position for you. Or the whole spread can be interpreted as uh, keep working, keep working hard, especially if you're working on something right now. If you're building your empire, keep doing it because uh, it will pay off in a big way in the future with the Ace of Swords. There will be a time where you will come out with the Ace of Swords as a victor. All right? So keep doing what you're doing, or if you are getting, being promoted, then just happy for you. Then you'll need to work on that. Um, this is a positive spread. Your money is looking better and uh, this whole spread is an improvement of what you already have. Alright Pisces, cool. Let's talk about an advice or a word of wisdom for you Pisces for the whole month of October. We have the Five of Pentacles, we have the Fool and we have the Four of Wands. So I can interpret this a couple of different ways. Um, scenario number one is if you've been sort of feeling isolated or if you've been isolating yourself from everybody if you've been kind of hiding, spending a lot of time by yourself, um, if that's been going on, then I think you need to let it go and take a leap of faith with the full card. Just set yourself free. Get out of that basement, <laughs> get out of that dungeon and explore the world. Be careful considering what's going on in the world, but you know, it's, it's time for you to uh, leave something behind, you leave your insecurities behind, leave your stress behind and take that leap of faith with the full card, right? Then it could potentially lead to something um, really beneficial and really good, really positive for you with the four of wands. The four of wands is a card of a relationship or it could be a card of some kind of partnership, you could be um, work related, business related, anything. So basically the four of wands is an abstract, something abstract that will happen to you in terms of, could be anything, as long as you get out <laughs> and uh, explore the world. Alright, so that's what we have for you uh, Pisces, other than that have a great month. And there you have it, this was your tarot reading for this time period. 
I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.